When it comes to designing aircraft, the pace of technology is incredible. Aircraft like the Concorde and the first 747 were completely designed on paper, with engineers sweating over protractors and slide rules. With only a few decades later, the Boeing 777 became the first commercial aircraft to be completely designed on computer. But now it's time for the next step, taking the design out of the engineer's hands and into AI. Yes, that's right, you're witnessing history in today's video where we experiment with AI technology to design never imagined aircraft. Using a combination of chat GPT and stable diffusion, I present to you, what's and all, the next generation of aircraft. Wow, look at this thing. Meet the Skyhawk 150. Right off the bat, the Skyhawk 150 features a unique design that includes three pairs of wings that provide additional lift and stability, allowing the aircraft to take off and land smoothly. Somehow. The main cabin of the Skyhawk 150 can accommodate up to, surprisingly, 150 passengers in comfortable wide body seating. The aircraft has a range of 3,000 nautical miles, allowing to fly distances without needing to stop for fuel. The Skyhawk 150 also has a second level hump at the rear of the plane, which houses a luxurious first class cabin. This cabin features spacious seating and a range of premium amenities, including gourmet dining and in flight entertainment. This thing looks looks insane. I like I'm looking at this now just with you. I'm seeing this for the first time. And this just looks absolutely ludicrous. Like who <laughs> I don't know what the AI is thinking. Like obviously the AI is getting these ideas from somewhere, but this looks like some sort of ace combat monstrosity. Next up, we have the Soviet era Hammer of the Skies, a twist on the next generation Soviet airliner. It was a massive, imposing aircraft with a long cylindrical fuselage and four powerful engines mounted on multiple wings. The Hammer of the Skies was designed to carry a large number of passengers in comfort and in style. The interior was spacious and luxurious with plush seats, large windows, and state-of-the-art entertainment systems for the time, which was probably just going to be some imported VCRs. The Hammer of the Skies was also incredibly fast and maneuverable thanks to its advanced aerodynamic design and powerful Soviet engines. It was capable of reaching speeds of up to Mach 2 and could take off and land on a variety of different terrains, including snow, ice and water, for those military applications. But the Hammer of the Skies was not just a passenger plane. It was also equipped with a powerful array of defensive weapons, including air-to-air -air missiles and a retractable turret mounted on the roof of the fuselage. This made it a formidable opponent in the event of a military conflict. Is that a, is, are those missiles on a commercial transport? Speaking of military, let's see if we can create the new B-21 Raider 2.0. A new stealth bomber for the US military. The next generation American stealth bomber, known as the Shadow Hawk, is set to enter service in 2040. The Shadow Hawk has a sleek, stealthy design that makes it virtually invisible to radar. It is capable of flying at high speeds up to altitudes of 50,000 feet, allowing it to evade detection and deliver its payload with precision. One classified feature of the Shadow Hawk is its ability to travel at supersonic speeds without creating a sonic boom. This has led some to speculate that the Shadow Hawk is using advanced propulsion technology that has been reverse engineered from UFO sightings. But others believe that the Shadow Hawk has a secret cloaking device that allows it to disappear from view completely, adding to its already impressive stealth capabilities. And speaking of top speed, what if we wanted to go faster? Meet the Sonic X5. The Sonic X5 is a revolutionary passenger jet that is capable of traveling at hypersonic speeds. This allows it to make long distance trips in just a few hours, greatly reducing travel time compared to traditional jetliners. The Sonic X5 also has a unique double deck design with seating for up to 250 passengers spread across two levels. 
One of the key features, though, of the Sony X5 is its swept wings, which are designed to fold back when the aircraft is in flight at its top speed. This allows the Sony X5 to reduce drag and increase aerodynamic efficiency, helping it reach its maximum speed of Mach 5. When the Sonic X5 is not flying at its top speed, the wings are extended to provide additional lift and stability. And the X5 is also equipped with the latest navigation and flight control systems, ensuring that it can fly safely and smoothly at hypersonic speeds. And how much do you bet that this control system is AI? Hmm, what a coincidence. But what if we let the AI really cut loose and come up with an absolute monstrosity? It's this next one that I think you're going to find the most exciting. This is the Anker T. It's a versatile aircraft that combines the capabilities of a helicopter and a plane. It is capable of vertical takeoff and landing like a helicopter, allowing it to access areas that are difficult or impossible for traditional planes to reach. The Anker T is also designed to be adaptable for a variety of different situations and missions, and it can also carry up to 12 passengers in a comfortable and spacious cabin, making it an ideal choice for the transport of VIP passengers. The Anker T is also capable of carrying a single tank or other heavy equipment, allowing to support military operations on the front lines. And there you have it, Boeing and Airbus, that's five ideas for new aircraft that you can apparently build today according to this AI. But before I hand over the AI design blueprints, I really want to explain just how nutty this is. I also wanted to speak a little bit about how AI is actually really starting to affect so much more, especially here in the world of YouTube. You see, this script today was actually written by AI. A lot of the ideas and the artwork are now being forever used by AI and it's become a sort of bit of a controversy in my line of work to whether or not use AI over actual creators. It's something that we're trying to grapple with by staying ahead of the curve, but also use the powerful tools that they provide. And so that's what makes it really quite uh, interesting to see where this is all going to go. And who knows, perhaps in the next episode of Found and Explained, I myself will be completely an AI generation. <laughs> Using a combination of chat GDP and state diffusion, I present to you, what's and all, the next generation of aircraft. Hey, um, you said chat GDP. So, uh, one sec and do your drop now. Oh, for, oh into that line. <laughs>